Hello everyone, I'm Nikki Pursuit and welcome back to my channel. I have not talked at the camera all day and I'm sorry, but I've been at Irvine Spectrum all day and, well not all day for most of the afternoon I should say. I'll tell you guys the history about it probably somewhere in this video, as well as a history of where I'm at now, which is downtown Disney. Although there is a very long line, I'll show you guys that too in a second, but we're basically waiting this long line to get into downtown Disney. If you guys don't know this, this is kind of the first weekend that a lot of California is opening back up again. Not recommending that everyone should go to everywhere that they can, but take safety precautions, be safe, know what you're doing. Right now, we're just waiting to get into downtown Disney with this long line, trying to make the most of it. Don't mind waiting in lines. See you guys shortly. Parking ten dollars. Yeah. I'm still trying to stiff me out of my money. No, just kidding. Why is this so funny to me? I mean, if you guys want Girl Scout cookies, go for it. But like, why? What? Excuse me. Ex what? What? <laughs> so apparently right now at the park, at least like specifically for California Adventure, they're letting you in for free. This is just so odd, but they're letting us in to the park for free. Like, look at this. the fact that I want Zoe. Like, isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? If you say no, then I'm gonna be so sad. I want Zoe. So the store I've been showing you guys I've been in is kind of the biggest Disney store that there is in downtown Disney. And yeah, I'm kind of getting snippets of the items here and roaming around and having that kind of fun time.
done. I officially got home. It's been a few hours since I've been home, maybe two hours now. And I realized that I didn't add the history for any of the places I was going today. I usually add the history of most of my travel videos. The reason I didn't put the history in the beginning is because this was a plan that I had been planning all week with my friend. Although we knew we were going to Orange County, although we didn't know what cities we wanted to visit because we weren't really knowing where we wanted to go specifically as far as the cities go. I thought I'd add this portion of the video at the end where I knew where we're exactly going. So I'm going to give you guys the history of each city. If you guys aren't interested, then okay, see you guys later. <laughs> like you guys watch the main part of the video. I'm also going to be linking all the history links I put in the description below so you guys can read it on your own because I read very basic portions of each website as far as each city that I talk about history wise. For Irvine specifically, this website says in 1878, James Irvine bought out his partners for 150000 creating the Great Irvine Ranch, more than 110,000 acres stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Santa Ana River. There's a lot of history that goes into this. So this kind of started again in the 1800s. That specific fact was in 1878. And then to kind of give you guys a newer history tidbit about Irvine, beginning in 1970, the Irvine Company would oversee plans to transform 43 square miles of undeveloped land near the new UCI, which is University of California Irvine campus, into a master plan community of 50,000 people. So that's around the time that the campus was made. And while the city now supports a thriving community of more than 214,000. Irvine will always be graced with a very special legacy of its founding family. Nearly 60,000 acres of wildlands and parks designed as permanent open space throughout Orange County. Now, if you go to Irvine today, you'll notice that a lot of, I don't want to say minorities, but a lot of people from different backgrounds kind of live in Irvine just to give that expectation. And I feel like many of you know this, but many of you kind of know the history of Disney, although I'm going to give you guys a specific tidbit of history for Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney opened on March 22nd, 1975 as the Lake Buena Vista Shopping Village, a shopping complex intended to serve the planned residents within the Walt Disney World property. As the residential units evolved into more of a resort hotel space, the complex became more focused as a shopping destination for all Walt Disney World visitors and was renamed Walt Disney World Village in 1977. And then there's a bunch more renovations that were made, a bunch more renames that were made from this last point to what it is now as Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney gained a sister district on January 12, 2001 with the addition of Downtown Disney at the Disneyland Resort. Similar complexes also exist such as Disney Village which opened on April 12, 1992 at Disneyland Resort Paris. There's another one in Tokyo and another one in Hong Kong. On September 27, 2008, all of the Pleasure Island nightclubs closed as a part of a larger refurbishment of Downtown Disney. There's just a bunch of different history and renames that were made ever since the original March 22nd, 1975 Downtown Disney creation. And each refurbishment of Downtown Disney was intended for a separate purpose. Like I said in the beginning, they were originally made for planned residents. Then it was grown into something else, grown on, grown on, grown on until it became Downtown Disney, what we all know and love it as it is today, where it has a lot of shopping centers and tourist attractions that you can visit around Disney. And I just thought I'd give you guys those two tidbits as far as where we went today. Besides that, the restaurants we visited, the first restaurant we visited, as you guys saw probably earlier in the video, was a Persian restaurant in Irvine that is actually really delicious. It's called Caspian. And then as far as the very last place we went, we stopped on the way back. That is Krispy Kreme Donuts. And I'd be very surprised if you don't know what Krispy Kreme is, but Krispy Kreme is a known donut bakery that's, I believe, across the United States. I've heard it be in a couple of states throughout the United States, but I don't guarantee it's in every state, so don't quote me on that. Although again, Krispy Kreme is a known donut shop that's in the United States. With that said, I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, a good slumber whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.